It is time for you to take control of your life. And the best way you can do this is start becoming selfish. Stop trying to please everyone around you and use that energy instead to find meaning and fulfillment in your own life. Hello, my beautiful lions, and I'm Sam, and on this channel, we talk about personal development, mindset, motivation, and manifestation. Basically, I want us to unleash our inner lion so that we can manifest the life of our dreams. Lions, let's stop trying to please everyone around us, and let's start becoming more selfish. Now, just to clarify, personal growth selfish is very different from what the dictionary says a selfish person is. The dictionary's version of a selfish person is someone who is a lacking consideration for others, someone who's concerned only of their own personal gain and pleasure. But that is not the type of selfish that we are talking about today. I don't want you going around neglecting others' feelings or your responsibilities at work or with your family, stuff like that. No, 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 no. The kind of selfish that I'm talking about is the one that benefits your well being, your goals in life, your desires, things that will help you find a meaning and fulfillment in your life and help you become the best version of you. A lot of us forget to take care of ourselves because we are so preoccupied, so preoccupied trying to take care of others around us, or we do things or make decisions based on what other people want us to do, especially with our families, right? <laughs> For the longest time, I did everything, everything to please others around me. I was always the yes girl. I just never had the backbone to say no to anybody because I'm such a people pleaser. Like I didn't know how to just kind of be my own person. I would just kind of do things willingly. And it all came down to my self-worth, right? Like I didn't have a lot of self-worth in myself, so I did things to please other people and thought that that would bring me fulfillment, just kind of seeking their approval. I was in a relationship for over eight years and I always, always, always kind of submitted to what he wanted to do and made decisions based on what I thought he thought was right for me. I neglected healing myself from depression, anxiety, and um, past trauma because he didn't think that those things existed. So I was like, okay yeah you're right like i don't need to do anything about it but the truth is i did need to do things about it i did need to heal my past and i did need to find ways to cope with my anxiety and my depression because it was basically eating me alive so that's where i was not being selfish enough you know i wasn't taking the time to really focus on what i needed and the things that I needed to do for myself. I think the turning point for me was I basically woke up one day and said I was tired of crying myself to sleep every night. I literally was crying myself to sleep every single night. Like for some reason, I just had these crying spells all the time and I just didn't understand why I just couldn't let go of my past or why I was so miserable and I just didn't understand that. So I think the turning point for me was that I was just tired of being a victim and I was tired of bad things happening to me. And I, was, I wanted to be happy. I wanted to be those people I saw um, in, on social media. They had their happiness. I wanted to find mine. So I took my little butt to the half price bookstore and I walked myself to the self-help section. And that's when I got my first um, self-help book, which was you are a badass by Jim Sincero. And after I read that book, I was so inspired that I became obsessed with personal development books. Like I couldn't get enough of them, right? I was listening to podcasts. I was um, listening to motivational speeches. I was doing everything that these books were saying so that I could find my happiness. And in the beginning, it, you know, it, it, it was slow. It was like I, was doing everything that they said, but I wasn't really feeling any progress. And that's because even though I was reading these books, I wasn't truly understanding them. So it wasn't until I started actually putting what they were saying into actual practice, like actually writing in journals and meditating and actually all the things that they were saying for challenges to do. It wasn't until I started actually doing them that I started seeing progress because I would read all these books, right? Read all these books. 
and have all this information, but I wouldn't actually practice anything. And it wasn't until I started practicing things and started becoming more selfish and in my own personal well being until I started actually seeing differences in my life and in my person, you know, like starting to become happier, starting to become less angry, starting to let go of a lot of negativity that I used to just be drowning in. You know what I mean? In a personal growth journey, putting yourself first is key, is literally key to finding a meaningful, happy, and rewarding life. And if you really, really think about it, <laughs> the more selfish you become about your well-being, right? The more selfless it becomes because then, then the people around you start getting the best version of you the best version of you, someone who's happier and wanting to enjoy life instead of somebody who's always negative, angry, and just not wanting to let go of anything. You know, you just become a happier person when you start letting go and becoming more selfless, selfish in your well-being. And don't they always say like when you're on the airplane and there's an emergency and the little oxygen mask thingy comes down, they say, first, put it on yourself. And then, and then you can help other people, right? Right? Exactly. That is the metaphor we want to use for being a selfish person in your personal growth journey. Okay. So I'm going to list a few steps on what areas in your life you should start becoming more selfish. Step number one, self care we need we need 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 to start giving ourselves more love and we need to start healing our inner selves so if you are dealing with a lot of trauma and a lot of depression and a lot of anxiety you need to find ways to heal that because otherwise you're never going to get to move forward because you're just going to be stuck in those feelings of feeling awful so self-care giving yourself more love, finding ways to heal so that we can stop living in a place of low vibrations. You can do this by practicing gratitude, becoming more aware of your negative thoughts. Meditation is really good. Taking time to yourself to breathe, even if it's just for a few moments in the bathroom by yourself. You need to take a few more moments, close the door, take deep breaths and just kind of center yourself, you should definitely do that. Start being kinder to yourself. When you look at yourself in the mirror, stop pointing all the things that you don't like about yourself. Stop pointing them out. Stop it. Instead of pointing out the negative things, why don't you start pointing out things that you do like about yourself? Become more patient. Stop getting angry when things aren't going as fast as you want them to. Start learning to become more and more patient and just living in the now and stop rushing towards the future. Just wasting your life if you go through the future. You want to live now. So practicing patience. Start letting go of emotions that are wasting your energy, like anger. Every time you get angry, try to realize that you're angry and find ways to calm yourself down, even if that means taking yourself out of a situation. So if you start getting angry, take yourself out of that situation to go find somewhere to breathe so that you can calm down and realize that this is just temporary, but you have control of you. So don't let it be an energy waster because anger will only aid you and stress you and cause sickness in your life. So just let it go. Let it go. Ooh, song. Anybody seen Bad Boys too? Ooh, song. Ooh, song. And oh, I'm sorry. Let's get back to the topic. So let's stop wasting energy on small little things, and let's start looking at the bigger picture and taking care of ourselves and our well-being. And if you really, really need it, go to therapy. You know, if you need somebody else to help you, it's okay. Therapy is okay. That's what it's there for. Don't let other people opinions about it stop you from doing it because believe me i did i was with somebody who didn't believe in therapy so i didn't go so do not do not listen to anybody else only you know what's best for you so you do what's best for you to take care of yourself okay some other ways you can find ways to take care of yourself is going to the gym eating healthier getting more sleep you know just take care of you physically and mentally okay number two on what you should be more selfish in your life about and that is 
your goals, desires, and career choices. It's so important that you choose things, goals, desires, career choices that benefit you and make you happy because you're the one that's going to be doing it for the rest of your life. So shouldn't you find things that make you happy? Stop making choices, especially career choices, based on what others want. Because a lot of us make career choices on what our parents want, right? Because we want to please them, because we don't want to disappoint them, because we're so eager to make sure that they we have their approval. No, no. You're going to end up miserable, bitter, hating life, and then ultimately probably resenting your parents because you're in a job that you absolutely, absolutely hate. We also have this weird thing about like not starting projects or things that we want to do based on our friends and our significant others, like what they have to say about it. If you want to start something, whether that be owning a business or your own business with something that you've always wanted to do, whether that be baking, whether that be drawing, whether that be anything creative or anything that is out of the ordinary, if you want to do it, do it. Drag, who cares? Do it. Do things that make you happy and don't think about other people's opinions because it's not their life, it's your life. And you need to live your life based on what you want to do because you need to find happiness and fulfillment in your own life. You can't keep pleasing other people. Only you know what's best for you. So let's stop worrying about others' opinions because they don't matter. They really don't. Who cares? At this point, who cares? I don't. So you shouldn't. <laughs> and the third thing that you need to start becoming selfish with is your relationships with any kind of person, your friends, your family, your coworkers, your significant others. Make sure that you choose the right people who are going to benefit you in your life. And I want to talk more about love relationships because a lot of the times when we're in a relationship, we start losing who we are, especially the more time that you're in that relationship. You don't need to spend every waking moment with this person. You need to still find time for you and still be true to you and keep your true self intact. I will tell you that I was in a relationship for over eight years. I lost a lot of who I was. I didn't know who I was. I had to start dating myself again when we broke up to like figure out me my true self and who i was because for the longest time i was always doing things to please him and when i would take interest in something that i liked he would kind of put it down so then i would second guess everything that i was that i liked i second guessed almost everything that i liked because he would tell me that it was wrong don't let that happen to you don't let others especially your significant other, put down anything that you want to do. So you need to be selfish when it comes to relationships and the people that you choose to stay and be in your life. Otherwise, that relationship is never going to last because you're never going to get to be your true self and you're just going to end up becoming resentful and mean and bitter, and which is what happened to me. I started resenting him in so many ways and it wasn't fair to him. It wasn't fair for him for me to be that way towards him because... I needed to let go of that relationship. And that brings me to this last point about relationships is don't feel guilty if you need to let go of a relationship that is no longer serving you. We always feel so bad about letting go of a relationship that is no longer serving us. Like we feel guilty because we don't want to hurt the other person. And I understand that it sucks to hurt other people, you know, but in the long run, you are actually helping them because then maybe they'll find the person that they're actually truly meant to be with, but you have to just let them go and let them find that. It almost becomes selfless in that way that if you're no longer wanting to be in a relationship, you're no longer in love with someone, it's okay to let them go. It's okay to be honest with that person, even though it may hurt them in in the moment, in the long run, it's going to be better for them because they're not going to be stuck in a unhappy and you won't be stuck in an unhappy relationship. And I stayed in a relationship for longer than I should have, you know, and I loved him very much, but the relationship was just no longer serving me and I had to let it go. I had to let it go and it hurt. It hurt me and it hurt him and I loved him very much. I still love him. I still wish him the best, but at the same time, it was just the relationship for both of us was just no longer serving us and we just both needed to let it go. And now we are both happier in our lives. So don't be afraid 
to let go of a relationship that is no longer serving you. Don't ever be afraid. That is something you do need to be selfish with um, when it comes to people who you let in your life. That is the biggest thing of being selfish. Let me just kind of summarize. So self-care, and then we have your goals, desires, and career choices, and relationships. Those are the three things that I need you to start becoming more selfish in your life so that you could start living a better and more happier life and then just becoming the best version of yourself. And I promise when you start practicing all these things, it starts just becoming selfless because people are going to want to be around you because you're going to be in such better mood and they're going to get the best version of you and you're going to get the best version of you and the world is going to get the best version of you. So start becoming selfish. Self care desires, goals, careers, and relationships. Okay? Okay? All right, Lions. I hope this information was helpful to you. I'm going to go ahead and get some food because I am starving. But follow me on Instagram for more motivation at the Aligned Alliance. And press subscribe or um, leave a comment below if you have any questions about this topic. Okay? I love you all so much. Bye, my Lions. Bye.